Bob, but this war's got to end. Look, the idea that there's going to be a strong central government in Iraq is not going to happen in your lifetime. It's not going to happen in mine. It's the central fallacy of this administration's policy. And that's why we have to move to separating these parties and have what Tom Friedman called today, and I've been, Les Gelbin, I've been calling for for two years, a sort of a radical federalism. The only place the administration's efforts are working are places where they have localized, localized the security. And Katie pointed out that General Petraeus said that, you know, now you have us working with the Sunnis in order to take on uh, the uh, uh, Al-Qaeda. But let me tell you, there's no working to take on and work with the Shia. They're still fighting the Shia. And the idea that we're going to have a national police force that's going to make any sense in that, we should disband the national police force. We should move on to, uh, to implementing their constitution. You've got to separate the parties, Bob. The central fallacy of the notion of an Alawi government, some people are talking about now, or a Maliki government, is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We should get on with it. Well, of course, uh, the Democratic position is is to start this withdrawal and get these troops out of here, uh, what, by uh, early next year or something to that effect. You yeah. have never favored that, but you do think we have to reconfigure and begin to start some sort of at least a plan well, to get out. Uh, well, why not draw them out all well, now? Well, Bob, actually, I do. You know, you know, actually, I do. It was the Biden 11 Amendment that said immediately begin to draw down combat troops. Have those combat troops out by March of 08, except for those necessary for training the Iraqi army to protect our civilians that are there and deny al-Qaeda occupation of Anbar province. That requires about one-fifth of the number of troops we have there. We should begin to draw down these combat troops and get them out of this civil war. But um, I guess I would go back to what Katie was saying there. She said that clearly, and we hear other reports coming out of there that says that uh, General Petraeus is going to say, we really just need a little more time. We need to keep the troops in here well, a little longer. God love, God love General Petraeus. I think he's a great guy. He's going to tell you where we're making some military progress. But if I could have, I could go back and quote to you what he said, what the president said, the Secretary of Defense said. The purpose of this surge was to give breathing room to acquire some political reconciliation. There is no political reconciliation. And the total number of Iraqi civilian deaths are up around Iraq, not down. The number of people fleeing their homes has gone from 50,000 a month to 100,000 a month since the surge. It is true, things are better where our military is physically sitting. But it's like putting your fist in a water, Bob. The minute you take the fist out of the water, you can't even tell it was ever there. That's why there's a need for a political settlement. It doesn't matter how many troops we put there. Unless you have a political settlement, when we leave, we're going to leave chaos behind and you'll find you have a regional war.